All right, um, so Amazon kind of screwed me over with my uh, last order. Um, the armrest I ordered uh, was first available, should have come, uh, got cancelled because maybe it was not available and then um, on the same day the product was available like two months after I wanted it and so I waited for an hour or so then was back online and like a couple of days later um, they dropped the price so the armrest which was $114 was now I think it was 70 70 dollars or so so this time I ordered it and it came today and I got it here that's the armrest um, I'm gonna film over it right now before I um, try to put this out of the car and then get the armrest maybe attached to this one okay but I won't do this today maybe tomorrow um, so I'll show you how this thing works and after that tomorrow we'll see if I can build it in here so the armrest ah, vertical drive product I guess is pretty cheap I mean for $70 what do you expect <laughs> but still I think it looks pretty cool I just climb in this slippery back seat. So as you can see, I haven't tried putting in a uh, a cup. The big cups, at least, where you put your coffee in, they don't fit. Doesn't matter because I mostly use this one in front, not this on the seat. And underneath here, you see it's made out of wood. Pretty simple, but still feels sturdy. It's not bad. Um, and I think if I can drill some holes through the bottom, I can get the screws that are underneath the steel box and then put it back into the uh, that metal rack sliding thing on the bottom. Maybe that works then. Over here, uh, and it has these funny buttons where you can put your small change into and it has this one uh, you see there's like a padding made out of foam glued in here I had to cut some off because it's not the best work but hey it's just though so, um, I have it a little com more comfortable there you have a lock I mean, you can easily break in. <laughs> I don't know what you needed. So, um, yeah, over here we have two more of these for the backseat drivers. Pretty cool. Why not? Take it. So, and this is how it opens. It's just like a little strap in here. You can use this to close with the lock. That's another bracket we can uh, screw the thing down to the bottom uh, have to see underneath here so it should do this I guess there's no no place for me to screw that into the bottom because that foil uh, that rubbery thing is over here so I can screw it on there it doesn't matter don't need that yeah, they... I don't know what this is. Why is it white? <laughs> I don't know, it's a compartment. And this, I think, is made for... Uh, CDs. Still have a lot of them, but I don't need them. Not in the car. So maybe I'll leave this empty. That's the manual. Install, install, and... A few screws. Yeah. Got a lot of space, storage room, so that's pr pretty cool, because I don't have any storage room yet, so that's an improvement. Sorry, my 
nose is running. Went to a walk right now. It was a little cool outside. Okay, so this is gonna be the new armrest. I mean, it feels comfortable. Maybe it's just the right height for that. Okay, maybe tomorrow we can get rid of this steel box and then put this one in here uh, into the same space. Okay, here we are, a day later. And now I try these few, uh, what do you call these wretches? I don't know. I'll try these out, uh, if they fit. It's getting a bit difficult. It's, oh, it's so cold. <laughs> I hate cold. I'm back. I'm a summer back. So, okay. Let's see. I should reach it from here. But I guess I need a little more light. Yes, of course. The biggest one does not fit. That's what I've expected. So I need to go back and grab some more bigger tools. Okay, definitely not reaching this. This one. Take this out. Come on. What the fuck? Okay. Woo. And uh. Now that's the question, which one of those fits? I hope it doesn't fall out. But I can't move it. <laughs> ah, what a bummer. Okay, maybe too big. Maybe that smaller one fits. I'm normally pretty bad at stuff like that. But uh, as I told you in the first video, I wanna learn this. That opening, that gap, there's a little hole in there. The gap that I have, just doesn't uh, it not it's not big enough so I can move it trying it with this one hopefully I can reach it uh, I can reach it but I can't turn it it's... ah why okay all the effort for this video again and I can't even reach it because it's, there's absolutely no space I don't know how they got into this thing Okay, absolutely no chance to get in there. What the hell? Why? Why is this so complicated? Oh man. If I could get these off. There's probably no chance I can open these up. We needed special drill for that. To have that pin in the middle. I bought, I bought something similar to that to open up uh, screws at the license plates, but uh, all right, I found them. Hopefully I have the right size. It's a T15, uh, and that's what I mean. These ones have the uh, little hole in the nose and a star shape around it. Okay, if I can open this one up, maybe I can reach, oh, they're pretty easy to screw out. What kind of screw you have in here. If I can open up this small part, maybe I can reach the screws uh, down at the bottom. Pretty dumb. There we go. God damn it. it was so easy and I tried to get in there oh man I'm gonna pick the camera up and show you that okay that's the inside so I'm just gonna open up these two big screws there's a lot of cables in here yeah it's fun uh, we'll have to clean it then we can install the armrest. Okay, now we can easily get in here. Now just see <laughs> which direction I have to open them. Oh my god. Woo! Okay.
still not enough room to get in here. Ah, okay, first one is loose. Ooh. Let's do the second one right after it. Ah, okay, there it goes. Okay, let's unscrew it. And now I'm gonna try to uh, take these bolts and put them into the armrest. Ow. There's some sharp pieces in here. God damn it. Ah, come on. Okay. Awesome. Huh. Does it really come off or is it connected to something else? And let's see. It seems like it's connected in the back. So I'm gonna screw all these off and then get to the inside of this box. exact size. Um, back then when I wanted to install something in my Ford Expedition, I needed a 8mm ratchet, flexible head ratchet, and I couldn't get it anywhere. They were just sold out everywhere. It took me days to get it. Went to three uh, auto parts stores, um, Harbor Freight, and ordered it on uh, online at Walmart, I guess, and uh, Amazon. And after a month or so, I finally received one. It felt like these things were rarer, more rare than a unicorn. off now oh it's just a screw it's just a basic screw screw it into the bottom who does that oh man okay now ah it's coming off it's so fucking heavy and then we have still a few cables attached to the box I don't know where they lead to. I'll have to check this out because it's all connected underneath uh, in this thing. So I'll have to screw off this thing too. I thought it's gonna be a quick video, but my camera's almost out of uh, power. So I'm gonna hook it up in a minute. So I will have to get this thing off. Oh, and that's not 8 millimeter. that's 10 again. Oh man, that sucks. 3.8? <laughs> Is it this one? No. A little bigger. Uh, 10 millimeter. It should be a 10 millimeter. It is not. Oh man. What is going on? Seven six. Uh, this one fits. Okay, I'll need power for uh, my camera soon. Where's the other one? Oh, 
there it is. So I can't put this one on here. So I need an adapter. Come on. Okay. It's still so rusty. Come on. Oh man. <laughs> it doesn't go off. It doesn't come off. God damn it. This is way, way harder than I expected. Come on. You gotta go off. I don't want you in here. I need my armrest now. I probably have to cut short a little of this footage. But I've seen so many many people doing like 50 minutes uh, of video. Repairing cars and stuff. And they were really hilarious and interesting. I know mine are not because I'm not, I don't have enough knowledge. Oh god damn it. I should be off. Yes, it's in here. Okay, came out easily. It's pretty good. The fuck? They just cut off most of those. But why didn't they pull it off? Oh man. I should put some tape around it and then. Look at this. It was all on top of here. Why? Okay, now we should really be able to get this box out. And after that, I'm gonna switch to my GoPro. Oh man. <laughs> okay, this is a lot of weight reduction. Man, this thing is heavy. Wow. Okay. Now we have some more space. And you see, that's where all the cables go into. This funny little thing here. And then they vanish underneath here. So, I don't need them. I'll have to get them out of the way. Tie them all together. And then close the ends with tape. Still have the black tape that I can put over it. And I'm gonna clean this and I try to make holes into the armrest underneath here so they fit this one because I can easily reach in here and screw it back on. We just have to adjust and either use these so it's farther in the front or in the back. We'll see you in a minute. Okay, welcome on the GoPro. Sound is not as good, but I hope it does its job. Uh, in a minute, I'm gonna take off this zip tie and open it up again. And then um, I use this one to connect all the wires, wires together, and then got this wire tape to seal them off and for uh, this time I don't use this anymore for the GoPro I bought this <laughs> so now I can put on my GoPro a little better and you see a lot more hopefully this way you can see how I clean this I try to make it quick and um, don't talk too much <laughs> That's perfect. Uh, <laughs> sometimes I don't know why I didn't thought about this earlier. Okay, I'm gonna clean a little over this. Oh man. Paper roll. Okay. Let's go. 
clean, clean, clean. You see, it's always very chaotic when I do stuff. And sometimes when I watch other videos, I think like, man, I could have done this a little better. And then I try it. And I know how these things happen. Do, do, they don't look good. I think they have dogs in here. Definitely look like dog hair. Just to kill off some of that odor. I mean, the car doesn't stink. It, it doesn't smell. But you know, some smells we don't realize they're there, and they make the car smell how it smells. Let's try to make it as neutral as possible. You see how easy it is to clean that? Detailing this car is probably not a lot of fun because I don't have a lot to work on it. So easy. Okay, that's it. Now I'm gonna open up this um, zip tie. Okay, kind of noticed. Um, I always got a little uh, electrical impulse whenever I touched my uh, key and tried to open the trunk. Uh, something's going on here. I don't know if it has to do with all these cables that I released from its screw. So I turned on my car because I don't want to drain the battery. <laughs> Seems like it's okay. But I really have to finish off all these cables so they don't touch uh, anything. I don't know what this does. Seems more like a antenna normally don't run on power so it should be good oh, hey. everything that could ground the car is not good so don't want to lose my power here in the car I got a new zip tie because I can't I can't get off the one on the seat I thought I could open it, but that was like safety ties with a piece of metal inside. So you just can't open them anymore. Okay, every cable seems to be in somewhere. These are still not protected. Oh, there's another one. Dude, that's so many, so many cables. Hell. Got enough. They should be all disconnected, I guess. So I've never heard of police cars getting sold with still uh, connected um, radios and whatever. Okay. Now we're gonna try to get all of these together and store them away underneath the seat. Oops. Heard that? Call me a weird sound. Okay. Support underneath here. Okay. Now, next step is to find out which would make more sense. And I guess, I just guess, this could be it. So maybe around here, um, because uh, these screws they have to go in the back. If I put them in here, pull it back, 
that's what I want uh, when I uh, do drill through here. It should be like this. This should be able to open up. I mean, it looks not bad. And that way my elbow, you can't see it here. I, my elbow does not hit any bottles in here. So more like that should be good. Should be able to open. Dude, that's cool. That's cool. Should work like that. Okay, now I have to um, find out the um, size in between those screws, where to put the holes in, and then hopefully drill through big enough so can you can put these back on again. Yeah, that's cool. I like it. All right, funny thing, don't have the uh, inches um, tape measure right here, so I use the German one in centimeters, and I go from uh, side to side, and look that I I end up here in the middle of those. Kind of like this. So it's 10 centimeters exactly. It could be a little bigger. And that doesn't matter. The thing is, I'm so unprepared. Only found this little um, head. So I'm gonna drill in there. This small drill head. A couple of times so I can hopefully uh, make the hole big enough. So these fit through. That's a little bit of work. Yeah. What should I do? So now, next part is 10 centimeters. And, um, cool to know. This is four centimeters deep, so four centimeters into it, and then. We draw onto here, so it's four centimeters in about here, and then we have the ten centimeters from there to there. So it's about here. That's where we're gonna put in the holes. That's pretty easy. Let's look again, four uh, here, and then ten, ten. I forgot about the sides. Let's check again. Oh, shit. Come out here. God damn it. Yeah, that's really chaotic. How oh, I like it. Okay, let's put all, all that stuff in here. Who needs this crap? No one does. Get the keys. Um. Six centimeters, no, five and a half from the side. Five and a half. Five and a half. Oh, 
are here. Where's the pen? Pencil! Come back here. Five and a half. It's about here. From here to here. It's five and a half. Absolutely. Five and a half from each side. These are the holes we're gonna use. And we're gonna drill into. Let's try to cut away a little bit of this so we can see what we're doing. Okay. Don't worry about the trash. I can swipe it out easy. Oh my god. Okay. Let's drill a little more. Hard to hold it here. I broke off the only drill head I had, so well, I'm gonna use this little saw and try to get through the holes and then saw it out so I can reach through with the screw. So finally I managed to break through and it seems like I can screw these two in here. Hopefully the space between those two is the right one, so I try to screw them in here and then to fit them here into these two gaps, holes. Oh man, it's been a while. It was a lot of effort for such an easy task. And yes, I can't get in here. That's due to a uh, um, yeah that's not em enough space in the front. Oh, this is okay. We can still do this. Get them in here. Just a little spacer for the screw. Hey, we will make it. We're, we're almost done installing that thing. Okay, now try to make it fit onto screws again. Where's the other one? No, should not go away. So that way we have to be in the same same spot. Still can't see it on the other side. Okay. 
Okay, the right one came through the hole, that's cool. The other one did not, which seems like it's too far off. Break it out, open a little more. Oh, cleaned everything. It's dirty again. God damn it. Now what happened? That screw is gone. Where are you? Can't find it. God damn it. Ow! Okay. Again. Hopefully this time, both of them are on the exact same spot. You can see one, you can see two. Almost there. Yeah, almost there. Yes! They fit! They fit in, okay. Huh. I got it! I got it! So now, have to make a little room get a little of that wood away yeah this thing already came off it's just glued in there maybe I should work on that a little Yes, now they suck these um, screws through the wood. So it holds a little better. Yeah, now it doesn't move anymore. Okay, didn't want it any other way. So, this is good. I'm gonna glue this on again. It does, doesn't move anymore. All right. Here we are. I finally, after hours, uh, installed this piece of wood. <laughs> now uh, my car has an armrest. All right, after having the armrest installed, which looks pretty cool, I'm gonna upgrade this car a little more with some seat heaters, pretty cheap. I don't know if I have the price on these. Well, I can try to look it up and put all the prices and links to that into the description and so you can upgrade your car. I had these in my Durango back then. All worked pretty good, but not bad. Just, uh, I had some mice in uh, my shed. <laughs> they were a little dirty, so I cleaned them up uh, last couple of days. Uh, they should be um, without any germs, it should be clean. Okay, so I'm gonna install these two and I'm gonna try out on the next drive if they really work on that um, plug-in down there. I have three plug-ins and it says, caution, do not use for cigarette lighter, which makes sense, but um, I got it over here and I don't smoke so I don't care but they should work and they work pretty good so if you don't have a seat heater these will pretty much do the job <laughs>